Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, it's going to be an upgrade video. So I'm going to be fitting these two RX 470s, uh, the Sapphire branded versions, into this. So this is actually uh, what I call worker free. And you would have seen it in lots of my previous videos. Maybe you've not seen the actual machine, but you certainly would have seen screenshots of me uh, working on it, testing out new miners and uh, mining software and sharing those uh, results uh, with you. So inside this machine, it's got a AMD A10 7700K. So it's a really good all round processor and I use it mostly for a little bit of um, GPU mining, also burst coin mining using the CPU. Um, it's a good all round multi-miner. Um, this machine has two uh, graphics cards in there. One is a R9 280X and it also has a 7950. Um, those graphics cards have been in there for quite a long time, um, probably about a year now, something like that. Uh, they've both been running really well together. Um, however, they are running um, quite a bit of hot and they're also quite uh, power hungry as well. So in this office that I'm actually in, and one of the primary reasons why I'm going to be doing this upgrade is that I get uh, free access to electricity here, which is great so I can run um, power hungry uh, devices without too much concern for the actual power usage. Um, but one of the issues with it is the actual heat generated. Um, this kind of um, office space is only about 150 square foot. So this, with the two graphics card combined, the GPUs on their own use about 450 watts. Um, the, the 280X uses about 250 and the 7950 uses about 200 watts on their own. So what that means is that in this uh, office space combined with the actual other computers that I've got here and the other hardware, all that heat is probably about a thousand watts of heat. So it's like a, almost like a thousand watt heater on all day, every day. And that means that it gets crazy hot in here. So just to show you, So uh, you won't be able to see it, I'll probably do like a, a zoom in there. I have this little thermometer and right at this very moment in time it is reading at uh, 31 uh, degrees. So it's always pretty hot in here. So what I was looking to do with these um, two RX 470s was going to put these two into here and then set out this old hardware, like say the 280X and the 7950 sell those, kind of retrieve some money back and replace them with new, updated, more efficient um, hardware. So each one of these uh, GPUs should use between 100 and 120 watts. So what I'm kind of expecting is to reduce my power usage on this machine um, by about half. So going from about 450 down to about two, 200 to 220, something like that. So what that means is that I can run more efficiently, I'm gonna get more performance out of the actual uh, minor unit itself. Uh, but what I'm also going to get is is, uh, less electricity and less heat so it should make the actual working environment um, a little bit more comfortable um, so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, today uh, I'll just do the actual whole um, upgrade process of taking you through it with me step by step just so you can see exactly what I'm doing as I'm doing it and why I'm doing it uh, and then what we we'll do is uh, at the end of the actual video we'll come back and we'll take another look at the actual performance of the machine and see uh, exactly how that's working so one other quick thing, um, if you're still watching at this point in the actual video, is um, each one of these actual graphics cards come with a uh, code for Hitman. So I can't remember the actual, um, the exact version of the game, but it's a online code for a basically a free game. So what I'm gonna do in the duration of this video somewhere, it might have been already, or it might be a little bit later on in the video, um, I'm gonna hide a, what they call an Easter egg in this video. So there will be a code somewhere in this video that you can get yourselves a copy of the Hitman game for your PC. So look out for that, it's gonna be somewhere in this video and it will just be a code. Um, I'll put the instructions in the actual video description of uh, what you actually need to do with that code. And uh, once I find out that that code is being claimed, I'll also update the video as well, the description at least, um, just so you know that someone's found it and you don't keep on continuing to go looking for it. So. I know you guys are pretty much on the ball, so look out for that code. It'll be somewhere in this video and you can get yourselves a free game. So just a little bit of freebie I wanted to share with you. Uh, the second code, I'll probably do a giveaway at some point in the future. I've got a few ideas that I wanna work on in that respect. Um, okay, let's get on with the actual upgrade and we'll go and do that now.
Okay, gonna do a quick power up test, just to make sure everything's running as it should be, just before we put the actual side panel on. So power. Just gonna turn on the rocker switch at the back. Uh, and it's already powering up. And that's actually because I have the uh, BIOS set to restart after a power failure, uh, which is good, good setting for your miners. So that's why it's fired up immediately. Uh, I'm not too sure how well you can see on the actual camera. Uh, but yeah, that's looking good. Both fans are turning fine and everything is running as it should be. So that's good. We can do some installation now of the actual drivers, software, and then we can do a performance test. Okay, so on these RX 470s, there is something to be aware of. So on the ports in the back, they don't have any uh, DVI connectors. What they have is two HDMI connectors. Just pull that out. They have two HDMI connectors here and here, and then they have two DisplayPort connectors at the top. Um, so if you've got a monitor with a DVI connector, a cable at least uh, you're going to have problems plugging it in however what they do actually include is a HDMI to they do include a HDMI to DVI connector so we can just pop that in and then we can plug our HD sorry and then we can plug our DVI connector into there so that's that little problem solved okay guys so we've just got the old hardware there that's ready to be sold on uh, using a popular auction site so just on the actual screen I'm doing this all by hand so apologies for the wobbly interface uh, the graphics cards are installed the drivers that I'm using are the latest ones which is 1611.5 um, so I'm just going to start up the Zcash miner. This is version 8 of Claymore's. Um, I'm aware that there is a version 9 out. Sorry about the focus there. Uh, so we'll just start up that. And the graphics cards are obviously just running on the stock ROMs. Um, I'll update and modify those soon and then we'll get the best performance out of them. But I just kind of wanted to show you that working. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. I know it's not the ideal situation, um, but that's the uh, Claymore's version 8 Zcash miner, and we're getting um, about 165 hashes per second on each one of the GPUs. So with a bit of tweaking, I'm sure we'll be able to get well over 200 uh, using the latest version of Claymore's miner, version 9, and with a little bit of um, modified BIOS and also overclocking, I'm sure we'll get really good performance. Okay guys, so that just about concludes this video. Be sure to check back and look for that Hitman game code. Uh, grab yourself a free game. Like I say, that code will be hidden within this video somewhere. So go back and have a look. It is in there somewhere. Uh, grab yourself a free game. As always, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and seeing me go about my day-to-day -day mining uh, crypto activities. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, watching, found it useful and informative. As always, if you have any questions or comments, um, just let me know in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and um, yeah, follow me on Twitter as well. It's imimblocks underscore com. Uh, sorry about the name. It just that's just how it ended up. Uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter as well, and then that way you can engage with me, ask questions, and I'll be, get back to you and all that kind of uh, good stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.